Hey guys, I'm Xenocraft1212 back with another Skyrim video, and this time we're doing a mod showcase. And as you might see, this intro right here with me standing next to Fandel is, well, already happened in my latest video where I showed off the QA smoke, which is what Bethesda made and used for like loot tables and stuff. You can get pretty much any item in the game. And this is a mod that was also in that video. Both these mods right now. The scoped the the Dragon Slayer bow and siege arrows, but it also does have a scope. I will talk about that a little bit later. And the Dragonborn Crafting Hall. Now, this video is going to be about the bows. As you can see, this is what they look like in their final form. And for some reason a glitch has happened to Fandles where the game thinks he's drawing Dragon's Bane, so it gives the bow the Dragon's Bane enchantment and look. See, there's the little electric thing where the blade of Dragon's Bane I'm right is behind you. supposed to be. What do you want me to carry? Just to prove it to you, there it is right there. So, Lead on. this glitch could be very useful, I guess, because you can enchant the weapon with a unique enchantment that you cannot get, such as the Dragon's Bane one. But, anyways. This mod adds really like either 6 or 12 different bows because you can customize your bow. As you can see, Fandles is black and red, while mine's white and blue. And there are multiple upgrade stages of the bow. At first, you start out with this, although it's red. And as you can see, there's no scope and it draws at normal speed and it's not as like complicated looking it doesn't have the compound bow feel to it but using two diamonds you can make the scoped version which is pretty much exactly the same except with the scope and this scope slash well it's more of a sight is based off of the concept of the scoped bows mod which Interestingly enough, this guy actually teamed up with the creator of that mod and got the got his permission to use the actual files from the scoped bows mod and the meshes for the scope. So it fits in very, very well with that other mod, which I personally like because I have that mod installed right now. And after this first upgrade, you can go to this one, which is the kind of mid-ground one of the, in my opinion, probably the least realistic looking one. Because it like, it's not too insane, but yeah, I don't know. I just think it's the least realistic looking. Probably, I guess, because of the spacing between the front limbs. Then after that is the third and final form, which is this huge, gigantic thing. Now, as you can see, they do not look the same. The reason I said there's 12 is because you can make the not scoped versions of all the, all the bows, and there's also a red and blue different colorings. So really, there's a lot of options you have to work with, and since these bows are extremely overpowered, they cost a lot to make. Although, another interesting thing I've noticed is that you cannot craft them if you have any in your inventory. So I'm just going to give them all to Fandle here. here. What do you want me to carry? He's holding the one that I made without cheating, which is one of these. But I'm going to give him all of them so I can demonstrate what it takes just to make the first version. That's interesting. Lead on. First the blue one. But you go to the steel, and then there it is, Dragon Slayer Bow. Now once you make this, you will get the second tier, which is also extremely expensive, and so on. Now, you might notice the gigantic arrows on my back. These are the siege arrows that are also part of the mod. And the current ones I have equipped, which are the ebony ones, do 250 damage. These things are insanely overpowered. But the first option are the steel ones, which do 95, which is still way, way, way strong. This is what they look like. 
I'll take a bow back so I can show you, you what they look back. What they look like when you draw it back. You lead, I'll follow. They kind of stick out a lot. They fit if you're sneaking, but if you're not sneaking, they just look hilarious. And then after these is the dwarven ones. If I can find them. Here we go. Arrow mm -hmm. version. Oh, and also you can pick if they want it to be a bolt or an arrow, which I really appreciate. They look like on your back. When drawing. I'd say these are more realistic looking than the others, even though obviously an arrow this long is not realistic. And there are orcish versions, but I couldn't craft them. I don't know why, but they're not showing up in my orcish, orcish smithing. As you can see, they're not showing up. But I don't know if that's clashing with one of my other mods or what's happening there. But this mod is insanely overpowered because, as you can see, the Ebony ones do 250 damage, and the bow itself, when upgraded, only does 164, which is an insane amount of damage, but less than its arrows can do. And the keen eyed of you viewers would notice that when I draw the bow back, it like turns and lifts up a piece of metal on the side. I guess that's supposed to fit with the compound bow feel of this bow. But all in all, this is one of my favorite archery mods because it's extremely overpowered, but at the same time, the draw speed is much, much slower and everything is extremely expensive. So if you don't have this Dragonborn Crafting Hall mod, or you can't use consoles to cheat in things like how- that's how I got the bows, by the way. <laughs> yep. I'm not going to. Night I cheated to get these in, but I'm not going to use them. Just for the video. So they're extremely difficult to make, and the Ebony arrows that do 250 damage are also extremely difficult to make. If I can find them... There we go. Three dragon bones, five steel ingots, five ebony ingots, and three firewood for one. One arrow. <laughs> so they're not practical to use, but they're for killing dragons, obviously. And I use the steel ones, which you get five at a time, I do believe. Yeah, you get five at a time. I use these for the Dark Brotherhood quest. Because obviously you do not want your Dark Brotherhood targets to survive the first shot. And they will not with this mod. So, yeah. Me and Fendi are going to leave you guys looking at these huge bows. After... In the description it said that there was a glitch. That if you drop the bow, it'll either disappear... If you're in the overworld or land many meters away in a wall. Yep, that appears to be true. Because <laughs> I dropped the bow and it landed right there. Let's try again. <laughs> Way over here. Just a little note. If you want to keep all this power that you've worked extremely hard to get in gathering all the materials, just don't drop it. Like, if you accidentally drop it and you're in the overworld, you might be screwed. So save often if you have this mod. And I'm just going to do one last test to see if it does truly disappear while in the overworld. Come on, loading screen, I believe in you. I'm kind of surprised that took that long. So, dropped it, and it appears to be just straight up gone. Oh yeah, Fendi has all the others. Let's just drop them all off of Fendel and see where they go. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? 
I won't let you drop them from his inventory, that's interesting. You leave? I'm just going to drop all of them. Literally all. I'll follow. And as you can see, none of them are to be found. So like I said, save often if you don't want your hard work to go to waste. Oh yeah, that's another mod that's Blaze of Even Tide. Okay. But, on that note, it's a really, really good mod. I appreciate these bows a lot and the arrows. I think he personally did a really good job texturing them. The mod author is going to ignore the dragon. That mod author is, again, Skibida. That's it. I might have forgotten to say that earlier. His name is Skibida, and the for scope bows, the author for that is Outlaw666. But on the note of the dragon that these arrows are meant to kill, see you later guys, and tell me if you downloaded this mod after watching this, because I really appreciate it. There are some bugs, but it's still a really good mod in my opinion. Bye.